screen. All righty. Um, oh, sweet. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to a Thirsty Thursday Lotto. Thirsty Thursday Lotto on 11.11. We are not financial advisors. Nothing should be taken as such. This is purely for entertainment purposes. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a text from Justin. I think he might be joining us here. He wrapped up whatever he had. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm here. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. He is here. Um, okay, cool. Well, Justin, I'll just run it. Uh, unless you can pull up and I can have you share your screen on, it doesn't matter. Uh, just do your screen because they were saying that when we shared screen, it wasn't showing on the video. Okay. So I'll just do mine just for these lottos. It's all good. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. 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 All righty. So what happened today on Veterans Day? Banks were closed. Funds didn't settle. Probably about 50% of the people in our group like couldn't trade. Um, and that's okay. I know a lot of people in my network outside of our group that did not trade themselves um, because you guys saw, like you guys saw the market today, right? It was yucky. We said there's probably going to be little liquidity because a lot of retail traders are not going to be able to trade. Um, pretty much said if we don't get through the high or overnight highs, um, we'll go lower. But we actually, I'll go to SPY here. Oh, me. You guys see my one zillion price levels here. Um, let's go to the four hour. Wow. Does that scare you? Uh, <laughs> do you have enough price levels? <laughs> Eventually, your guys' will look like mine. Okay. Eventually, your guys' will look like mine. All right. So, what happened? We, right here on Spy, we had a crater of a day yesterday, right? Which was here. Scared the shit out of everybody, but look where it went to, right? We gave that 462 level, right? Right to it. Boom. Then we got some buying program, right? We closed in here around, um, you know, I'll zoom in for you guys. You know, we closed in here. We'll do the hour mark. Look where we held. Look where we held, right? This is where we held today. We did not get below this, which is pretty much the close from yesterday. Okay, perfect. Where also didn't we get through? We did not get through today. Someone was asking me, hey, why is 465.50 so important? It was the overnight high. We went and banged our head off it, right? This gray here is the overnight. Boom. Then we started going down and we just had a nice chop vest, right? But we still held that level. And if you look just even like at the 15, it was a chop fest all day. Okay. But notice we held pretty much that overnight low and we held it all day and now we're heading higher. So right now SPX is up about 12 points. That's good stuff. That's what we want to see. Um, definitely, you know, going into tomorrow where we've had a lot of shakiness, I think by the, by the fact that we did not go and test this, this 462 level, no, we did not go and test this 462 level. That is bullish. We had about 300 million to the buy side on MOC, uh, the market on closing balance, which is also bullish. So, you know, we've got a ton of people, hold on, I've got someone's trying to get in, add them, uh, Okay, I think I got it. Yes. So, oh yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we're good. Sorry, guys. Um, so basically, this level here is going to be everything. Overnight, if we can get through it, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Then we're likely going to head back to the high, right? We'll probably get back up right to this level for 67, 38-ish ish right doesn't have to be perfect but this level right here this whole cluster fuck that we couldn't get through today and if you notice we're going up to it again today so let's see let's see if we can get through that um and that's how we'll know but in the morning on spy we'll basically know any bounce level um possibly there's going to be a bounce here there could be a bounce here at about 463.77 okay if we stay in this range 
Then we'll know what's the overnight high, what's the overnight low, and where did we open at? And meaning when I mean open, where is it open from when it goes from you know after hours to pre-market? You want to know that open price, all right? Um, so that's all stuff I'm not going to be able to get to you guys till the morning, but that's what I look at, and that's how I determine what's going to happen. I would love for us, this is what I'd love for us to do, is if we, let me zoom out, sorry. God, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Is if we could break through this level right here, right? 465.50, break through it, and then retest it, and now have it as support, okay? That would be amazing. That would be amazing, right? Then maybe this 465.11, where we went and banged our head off of as resistance could also be support. So if we open in here and have a dip down in the morning, we'll know we buy down here. And look where it's probably going to go is up here. A lot of bullish call flow I saw on a lot of sweeps. Um, shout out Topher for checking out some stuff intraday, not taking the day off. Um, got into some stuff, was up on the day. So congrats there. Um, but put a lot of things on our radar. So we do want to say thank you for that. But that is, that's the spy analysis, guys. Okay, that's the spy analysis. So I'm just going to go over a few that I really like. You guys know I love my baby. Google. I love my baby. So what are we seeing on Google? Well, that four, I mean, it's really like this 491, I would say. So this level here, 490, 491, it held, which is good. Okay which is good. So we now know this 450-ish level is pretty pretty crucial. Couldn't get through it, right? Couldn't get through it today. So we'll know. Okay, and we can see how it's resistance here as well. So 460, um, or I'm sorry, 429.50 is probably going to be this first level. We'll want to make sure we can get through, okay? And once we get through there, okay, then we're pretty much set up to go Right here, I have all the levels. It's going to be 29.64, 29.73, 29.81, 29.94, and then the all-time high was probably going to be up here at 3.12, or 30.12, so 3,012, okay? Just know, if we look at solely a weekly chart, oof, look at that clusterfuck, okay? Let's get it right in here. Okay, this weekly chart, we've had a bunch of points down. I mean, we've had 312 all the way down here to what, 2990. So we've had over a hundred point move. So I would think we could possibly, I would pretty much, I would think we'd come up and try this level right here, 2961 right here. This is where I think we could possibly get to from the morning. Okay, if we, if we get buyers, if we get buyers, have to get buyers have to have to have to get buyers okay so that's what i would say on google i would love if we got if we opened like i would look at what this over what happens overnight in here okay and if we, let's say we open up at you know if, if we gap up 20 points on spx then we're likely going to open up around above 2030 that's my guess that's where we opened today was right here about 2030 right um, so if that happened, I would look, what's the overnight low? What's the close price of yesterday? What's the overnight low? I would look for that bounce area and then we'll ride those calls up. Right. So that'll be fun. That's what I'm looking, looking for there. Let me see. I'm actually going to boom. Oh, okay. So you guys are going to watch me actually, oh yeah, edit. you will actually watch me. Okay. So we're going to come in here on Google. We're going to look. Were they buying it up today? Oh, well, not for December. No, we're going to go Lottos. All righty. On a down day, look at that. On a down day, right? We're down. We ended up being down two points, but we are down way more. Look at that. We have the 2950s, which is, what did I say? 2950, that's a level, right? 2950 was a level, okay? And then I like the liquidity here on the 3000. Now, a move back to 3,000 would be insanity. I mean, just insanity, okay? Um, but I'm going to add this to my lotto, okay? These are going to be super cheap, okay? Depending where we open, these might be a buck down, but 
if the if we get 15 points, maybe 20 points, listen, if SPX is up 20 tomorrow and it's strong with buyers because no one's been buying shit all week. I mean, this could, we could open up at tw- at 29.50, 29.48, you know, like we could be up there. So that's why I like to put both these on there. Okay. Now let's look at Amazon. Let's look at Amazon. We'll start on the weekly. Okay. Let's zoom it out. Look at that consolidation. All right. So we've got this big level right here, 20, or it's 20, sorry, 34.62, 34.62. We can see Amazon has definitely had a down, just like, looks just like Google, huge down, right? Um, it went down and touched that again today. That's good. You know, you can see that there is that where this was, this also is right there, right? From these candles. And we had some resistance. Now we're through. Now we back tested. Okay, breakout retest huh sounds sim- sound similar okay so if we hold that we're probably going to look to see if maybe at open tomorrow we can get some love there right you guys see you guys see where it's holding that right we'll want to see what happens you know this 30 34 71 is probably going to be a level for tomorrow okay wherever the wherever this close wherever the overnight low is but i would say 31 uh, 34 72 and 30 462 are definitely bounce levels if it bounces it might even get back up here to this volume this large uh or the, where the this line of the volume shelf here that could be an area really bullish would be back up i would say back up to yesterday's open right i think it opened right here at uh, 3516 ish we can get back there and then we can get back to yesterday's high, which was 3531. If it wants to go fucking ballistic, we could easily go back to 3600. That's if it wants to go ballistic, though. Okay. So that's Amazon. Let's look what they were doing on Amazon today. Look at that. Jesus. Now, mind you, you guys remember Amazon was up big this morning, right? Like from where it closed yesterday to where it opened today. You know what I mean? That was like a 40 point move up. So people probably went pretty fucking call heavy up there. Um, in the, what the hell just happened? Sorry about that. Um, so they opened here, closed here, opened here, right? So like a 40 point up day. Oh, whoever that is. Mute, you mute. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's probably why you saw 22,000 of the 3550s, right? But, or 22,000, but it was still down 10 points on the day. Um, you know, we can actually look to see. A put call ratio of under 0.75 on a red day is bullish. That's pretty bullish. You could see still huge um, total volume of calls is 221,000 to 128,000, right? Not bad. Not bad. So I do like this for tomorrow. <clears throat> for tomorrow. This could be a huge, huge move. Sorry. What am I doing? There it is. This could be a nice mover. I would like to look at, definitely look at these 20, sorry, 3550s. Those will be cheap tomorrow at open if it doesn't gap up massively. So we're going to throw that on the Friday lotto. All right. We're going to add some people I got to add in here. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I, I like these a lot. I would even look at these 3,500s um, because they still got 9,000 volume, okay? I like these a lot. And then, so you go, you know, this, this, if I'm going to do that, okay, what's this, 3,600? Look at how much volume's there, right? This could be a really cheap lotto, right? Cool. So I'm looking at all three of those, okay? All three of them. Now, um, the other one I did like was... What was it? Oh, it was actually Apple. And I think Topher brought it up. Um, but we did notice that Apple was holding a pretty crucial level, right? This like 148-ish. I mean, even if you look at this low right here, which was 147.80, okay, still holding this level pretty nicely. So I like to see that. Um, you would think 
it would try to maybe bounce off of today's low, which would be 147, 147.70 roughly. If we got a bounce there, then we could easily try. I think we're back to, well, I think we're back to 148, 149. Obviously, you could see the open here was uh, 148.78. Then we got 149, I'd say call it 149.30 ish, right? You can see the level there. Then anything over that, you know, it could just get nutty. It could go back, you know, 150 is a magnet. That's a pretty psychological number. It could definitely get back there. Um, so I do like this Apple play a lot. Obviously, it was down just a few cents at the end of the day, but let's see what they were buying up. These are super cheap, so these will be fun. I would probably just add, I'd add probably three layers to my watch list just because they're so cheap and there's probably going to be a gap up tomorrow. I mean, if you look, it's up a buck, you know, it closed at 148 <clears throat> and now it's at, I'm sorry, it closed at 147.87. Now it's at 148 um, and, and 22 cents. So you could see there easily it was up, you know, it's up about uh, 40 cents there, almost 40 cents. Nice. Okay. And if SPX wants to do anything crazy to go higher, boom, right? Boom. Okay. And guys, just so you know, let's say we, we focus on this call. The whole time we focus on the call is all about calls, all about playing calls more, all about playing calls more. Okay. Why we chart yesterday's close and yesterday's lows, because if yesterday's lows and close prices break, we're probably heading lower. Okay. Like if SPY or SPX doesn't get above that, um, you know, if, if, if ES, which is the S&P 500 futures, doesn't get above 4661 or 4660 in essence, it has to get above there. Okay. Overnight, you would think it has to get above there, at least poke its head through. Okay. That would put us above 46, 46550 on SPY. Okay. So if it doesn't, then all those levels, you would just take yesterday's low, yesterday's um, close, and you would have a, those as levels. And you know what usually happens when we're going to go lower? We get a pop and fade. So what happened today? When we knew we were going to go lower, what happened? Everything fucking popped. Everything. I mean, if you look here, Apple opened, got to 140 almost 149.50 crater okay every single one of them did that google same thing open 30 point pop okay 30 point pop 60 point oh, i'm sorry 60 30 point pop and then we had what what do we what do we close up we got actually down here to 12 so 30 40 point down day from there right and i think amazon did the same thing we saw the open pop and then crater, right? So likely tomorrow we get a open up here, a dip, right? Bounce and rip, okay? That's what I'm looking for us to play tomorrow, all right? So I like, I like all three of these, but another one I was looking at was NVIDIA. NVIDIA, the chip, the chip sector had a, actually a pretty bullishly strong day, I would, I would say. You can see how, how crucial this level is right here. Um, 304 about um, you can see recently zoom in a tad here okay couldn't get a body of a candle really above this level all right 304.75 ish couldn't get it above okay bang bang but then after hours we saw some buyers okay we saw some buyers and I'm pretty sure the mu chart was similar. Oh, look at that. Pretty solid and strong day, right? Now I'm going to take a gander and this is pretty nice over 75. I love this. You know, if it gets over the 75, 63, we pretty much are going to be in our price target up to 79. You would think. Okay. Oh, so those of you guys that are holding mute today, um, people are a little uneasy about it, whatever it might be. Um, you know, Hey, everything is still holding up, which is why we're still in the swings. Okay, if we broke all the downside levels, then I, we would have gotten out. But I, I was thinking, we had two days of POW, okay, one day of selling off, then we had Veterans Day, all right? We had the banks, it was a bank holiday. So what's going to happen tomorrow, right? That's why I'm thinking, if we get some buyers into close, we have some buyers now after hours, um, and then going into our overnight uh, SPX session, we have some buyers. So let's see where we're at tomorrow. Let's see where we're at tomorrow. But look, Mew, same thing. 
super strong day, nice consolidation, and now up higher. You know, it's up what uh, uh, fifty cents. Nice, and I'm pretty sure AMD is going to look very similar. Look at that, AMD, very similar, super strong day, right? Look at this, pretty much. Look at the breakout, or I'm sorry, breakout retest of the breakout, right, of the previous all-time high, Coolio. Look at that beauty bounce and up nice okay bounce and up this actually could be a nice one if this uh i would say this level right here if this 148 breaks it's probably going to try to run it back up to like i would say at least to 153 but could easily go to 155 easily i actually like this now thank god i went over it because look at this I mean, it was up today pretty big. So obviously we're going to have a lot of volume, but look at this 44,000 versus 22,000. These are the one fifties, the one fifties. I, I wouldn't mind throwing that on my, you know, you're going to risk probably if we gap up tomorrow, because what is it up? Uh, it's up two bucks. These will probably be like 60 to 70 to 80 cents, maybe, but you risk that for it to go, you know, maybe two or three bucks in the money. So you're going 80 cents to two, two fifty, three three bucks. It's not bad, not a bad trade. Okay, anyway, back to NVIDIA. That was our initial one. Look. Okay, so same thing with NVIDIA here. You would think this would get a back test here at this 304.75-ish level. You would think we, we would get a back test there um, <clears throat> because it was, it couldn't, it was resistance today right or it was a resistance level then it broke through um but it where it closed and then i would also get the close price which looks like it's right about 303.99 so 304 call it 304 call it 304 possible bounce area right but let's take a look wow these three tens jesus so this 303 so basically, if we get up and over today's high, which is, let's just look to see what it is. The high is 308.50, 308.50, right? Almost, sorry. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, 308.50. You would also think that if we open above that tomorrow, right? Say we open up here, you know, maybe we open up 310 whatever we probably that that could also be a bounce area too. 308 308 50 but listen if it wants to rock i mean it could easily get back to 320 easily easily look at this the 320s have a ton of volume right so definitely possible i mean even these fucking 350s i mean jesus you know still got four thousand volume mine my mind you they're three or four cents but like who would be buying these like who would be buying these okay so let's throw these on Right, a lot of then I would probably do 315. Right, a lot of and I would probably do 322. Lots of volume, lots of liquidity on them. I like them. Okay, so this is going to be my watch list for tomorrow. Okay, this is going to be my watch list for tomorrow. All righty. Um, I like these five that we just went over. So we've got Apple, AMD, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA. Not a bad five. Not a bad five. Why is it not a bad five as well? It's be, or because they've been beaten down, right? So if they are going to have an inside week, um, then like all of them, because they're pretty much all having inside weeks. Some of them got just above to the upside to start the week off on that pop on Monday, but they're, they might probably are all going to close within inside the weekly candle. You know, they're definitely due for a pop tomorrow. All of them, all of them, all of them. Okay. Obviously, NVIDIA, AMD, they all had their, you know, NVIDIA, AMD, and Mu, they all had their fun today already. But the fun could always continue because just when we thought, I mean, when you thought NVIDIA couldn't stop, you know, 272, 300, 312, or 314, whatever this was, then 325, right? Now we're holding, you know, we're pretty much holding a nice level here at 293. Um I, you would think 293 tomorrow would be a long, like three weeks out, you know, three, four weeks out, go buy some December longs. If, as long as this level holds right here. Okay. Um, 
Now, OPEX, oh, guys, remember, OPEX is next week. So, you know, someone asked me today, like, hey, are you buying next week's SPY? Probably not. Probably not. Next week's SPY, you're going to be playing the zero dates. And then if we find a big bottom, like if we, like I would say this, if we test 462 tomorrow and it bounces off that previous day's low, or we bounce Back. right off of the, uh, you know, three, um, whatever that, we'll just go back to SPY. Sorry, guys. I'm just calling out numbers. Okay, perfect. If we come down here and bounce off this like 363 um, 69, which was the low today was 36. Okay, so actually 363.75. That could definitely be a bounce area. If that if we bounce there tomorrow, that's a pretty good level. That's a pretty good level. Like I would probably change this. I would change the color like of this price level. Like I'd make it like green. And the reason you make it green is because you're like, that's a buy level right? That's a buy green. You got the green light, right? We've seen that that's huge, huge support. We're going to go buy, right? And then I would go, okay, fuck. If we, if we bounce down here, I'd be like, okay, we can't get through this 465, 50. I would come here and I go, okay, this is red. This is fuck. Like put the brakes on, get out of the position. You're done. I don't care if it breaks through, take your profits. Who cares if it runs, but you're like, that's a pretty nice trade from, you know, 463.75 to 465.50, almost two bucks. You're going to make some money. All right. That's how I function, guys. None of these are no, obviously you can see none of the candles up here are obviously colored because I don't know where the fuck support and resistance is that's solidified yet. Yet. OK, so we'll see. All right. So that's uh, that's what I got. Those are the five I really, really like. I mean, you would just think there's no actual reason for us to be down. Fed, no, everybody knows we're tapering. They're not going to do a rate raise. I think there was a little overreaction to the inflation because all of a sudden it's 6.2. It's high. It's high as fuck. Okay. And they said, you know, they, they did say, Powell did say, the only reason we would raise rates early, the only reason we'd raise rates early is if inflation was out of control. Okay. Because raising rates does this, guys. When you raise rates, you raise the amount of money, people of interest that people are going to try to borrow money for. Okay. So when rates go up, people tend to borrow less. Okay. They tend to borrow less. They tend to spend less as well. So when that happens, the money in circulation of local and federal economy is going to slow down. And when that happens, all of a sudden now the dollar becomes a little, a little more valuable. Okay. A little more valuable. All right. So um, that's just a little inflation thing for you guys, something to think about. But they said they would they could raise rates earlier. They could to combat that. They could, but they're not looking to do it until June 2022 or summertime 2022. So let's see. Let's see what happens. OK, Jason says, let's look at Mont if we can. Jason brought this to our attention. I uh, no, can't remember how long ago. Good chart. I did like it. Yeah, he was right. It was right here when he was looking at it. I think Jason, I think you wrote it if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think you you had some calls in this area. And then we said, look how big this level is, you know, at 338. It rocketed through. I think you sold, you said, and then look what it did. It just went right higher, right? Right back higher. Look, right, look at the level it went to, right? Previous resistance, couldn't quite get through that level. Okay. It was always a breakout and retest, breakout, retest. And it, and it was pretty much starting over here. went right to it. Okay. You would think a 353 bounce, which is right in this area here, possibly, right? Because you can see it obviously broke through it. Now it's retesting. Oh boy. Look at that. Breakthrough and retest, breakthrough and retest. Okay. So you would think possible bounce here, um, you know, MasterCard. So this is what, this area is 353-ish, and the high was 360, and we might gap up tomorrow. We might. We might. Um, so I would put, you know, I put that 353, and I'd also put this close price uh, about 354-ish, and obviously 360-ish obviously up here where the, the high was um, after hours of the day and where you open to. Um, so Jason, yeah, I'd put those. If that breaks, obviously it's probably coming up here to try this all-time high again. But 
or not all time high, the local all time high here, which happens to be very similar to a breakout level over here, right? Couldn't get through, and then it went lower, and it, now it's held underneath there, right? So if that breaks, I mean, you're looking at 375, you would think, 375. And now you can see here though on the um, on the volume shelf. You've got the most, this is like the POC line pretty much, guys, but you've got the most amount of volume here. Um, you can tell that that's why it's going to, so this is definitely a supply zone. This is a supply zone in here. This whole area in here is supply, meaning there's a lot of sellers in this area. So the moment, you can tell because it's also supply is also resistance, right? Sellers are there, okay? So let's see. I mean, I you would want it to break through and, and close a full body. Notice it hasn't really closed a full body. You just get these wicks that just go up and try to kiss it, right? Can't get that body to close above it. So that's what I look for, Jason. Um, okay, Topher. Oh, wait. Uh, you know, let's look at the options chain. You're right. Because I, I kind of want to see what they're buying up here. So it was down as, you know, 1% today. Okay, not bad. Um, if you're going to play a lotto on it, I'd probably just find the most liquid chain, 360. And <laughs> that's what it was today. So these would probably open at like, 40 30 40 cents if we open where we're at it's going to gap up so it might just stay the same price but if 360 goes in the money they're going to two they're going to two okay so you could go 60 cents to two that's not that's not a bad lotto at all okay so thank you jason um topher was looking at wba today da -da -dum, da -da -dum. okay yeah so you can see there's a pretty good amount of resistance here what was the chain Topher, what was the chain for WBA? I can't remember that you were. I don't know if you were doing a lotto on it or if you were trying to buy. Oh, shit. Or if you were looking at uh, a week out. I want to say you bought next week. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 5250s. You bought the 5250s, if I'm not mistaken. I remember that because you said you bought five. Now I remember. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, not a bad one here at all, right? Um, you could see a lot of open interest for next week. Not bad. Not bad. We look at the chart, pretty much thinking if 52 or 50 breaks, you know, with some volume right here, this 50 level breaks with some volume, it's easily going to go back to 51 and it could easily go back to 52, 52 ish up here. You know, where these, where these candles are 51, 80 or whatever it is. Um, and you can see how there's like a lack there of volume in here. So if this gets going, you know, it could easily try to make its way back up here to this big, this larger volume shelf of 5304. Okay. 5304. Yeah. Topher said up 30% uh, today, bought in. So great job. That was fun. And then um, COH was Citigroup. Citigroup. Oh, uh, wait, no. Was it Citigroup? Is it COH? Is that what it is? Why is it not working? Capital One. Yeah, what's the Capital One ticker? Is it? It's COF. COF, guys. COF. Did I just not, I just can't read tonight? Is that what it is? Oh, oh you put COH, Topher. It's your fault. It's your fault. Julio. Yeah. So this was, yeah, gap fill play. I remember this one too. Nice. Nice find. Nice, nice, nice find. So let's just zoom in here. We've got, what is this? What's the high? 161.49 enters the gap. Okay. So you want to know that 161.49. Sorry guys, my OCD. Um, Topher. Face palm, face palm slap to the face. Yes. Um, don't let it happen again. Okay. Don't let it happen again. Just kidding. So we can see here, it's trying to go back up and fill this gap. But look at this. Look at the most, the biggest volume shelf is here. Right. So we can see that there's probably, I mean, it, it went up there twice now. There's probably some supply in here. So we're going to need, we're going to need to get this thing back up. Right. But, you know, the 20 MA could be a magnet that could just be a quick because um, it's at 157 right now. Like this, this could be if you got in today and you want to get out at 159, 160, you could easily do that. Easily do that. Right. Because it usually wants to come back to its MA. Right. So this is the 20, this yellow one. And then the red one is uh, the 50. 
Okay. But let's see what they were buying. Do you remember the options chain? What it was? Were you looking at December? No, 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 no. I would buy time on this one. I would buy time. Any of these, like, because this is probably the earnings call right here. Yeah, earnings. And then, but look what we have coming. We have a dividend payment. This is interesting. I'm sorry, guys. COF. We've got a dividend payment coming. Oh, tomorrow. Woo. A lot of people like to buy on dividend payments. They like to own the share. But I don't know if they buy, if they are only allowed to buy yesterday and then huh, they buy yesterday. Yeah, I can't remember. If they buy the day before, then they're, they're eligible to get it. Sometimes that's how that works. I'm not sure. Uh, but tomorrow is it? And sometimes they see a boost. It's possible. Sometimes you see a boost. So yeah, I think it was. I think you're right. I think it was a January. Um, yeah, look at this open interest there. Oh, wait, no. Womp, womp, womp. No, maybe it wasn't January. Oh, looking at eleven nineteen calls. Okay. Here. So you've got the one seventy. So what would be the gap up? The gap up fill would be. Yeah. Yeah. No, low is um whatever this low is uh 140 oh, i'm sorry 164.56 i think i'm dyslexic guys because i cannot read numbers to save my life so what did i say here 164.56 so that could be um you probably go uh a 155 strike 165 excuse me jesus boy it's been a long day it's been a long day um yeah not much action there though i'd probably buy as closer to the money like i'd probably come here to the 160s although they've got some you know liquidity higher out further out i'd always if you're gonna go for next week when it's opex week two i'd probably go yeah i'd probably go 160 but i'd buy time on them if you can i'd come here and look at these now i don't know i don't know why they do the 40 i think that's got to be a dividend payment thing why that happens I think someone was asking today too, but I'd probably look right here at the 169. So these look nice. About 140. That's what I would look at. And then January didn't have anything, but the open interest here was nice, but those are 164. So there are people that 165 level, you know, they are anticipating that could be a um, that could be a area of closing that gap, right? Could be an area of closing the gap. So that's what we like to see. Jesus, come on. Okay. All right. So da -da -da -dum. Chad said, let's look at KR, 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 KR. Very nice. We have, let me write to this level here. Interesting. Just, just looking solely off the daily here. Very nice. Uh, right here at 43, 48, roughly. If we look at it, couldn't get through, but now it came down, right? Look at, would you look at that? You guys seeing this? I mean, we can't make this shit up. We can't make this up. I mean, look at the breakout and retest. I mean, that's even a shittier line than I probably would want to draw. If I'm going to be cute with you guys and I would do it like this. Look at that. Just multiple touches and bodies above, wicks down. I mean, kissing the fuck out of it. They're pretty much making out. I mean, Jesus. What do I think of a KR reversal? Reverse to the downside? Question mark, Chad? I'm not too sure. It looks like, I mean, to me, It reversed now off the 200 MA pretty nicely, right? Pretty nicely. Made its way back up. We've got MACD crossing both over the signal line. We've got a daily squeeze here that fired. The momentum seems all to the upside. Oh, but, oh you're asking about 1119 calls. So maybe the reversal wasn't the, oh, you're thinking this is a reversal back to the upside. I think this is just, I would call this a pullback, not a reversal. But yeah, so you can see right where it, breakout retest very nice okay so now we know this like 41 ish level is our is our support 
You're looking at 1119 calls. What did I say this is for? 4350 ish ish. And then after that, you know, I would come right here to about 44, 45. Like this would be my area that I try to, and you see this tiny little gap fill. Ooh, we love gap fills. We love gap fills. Um, yeah, okay. AJB says, how do we, how do we, gauge open interest so okay open interest is this guys it's all the contracts that have been opened and not yet closed meaning there are investors that have their money in there that think this move could still happen okay i think the move can still happen all righty so you just want to see a higher number you want to and it also helps us gauge liquidity and usually where there's a big number of open interest as people are targeting that, it's usually also we can see it as res resistance, right? Resistance, um, like if we're playing the upside. Okay, so I hope that helped AJB. Um, looking at the 1119 calls is what Chad said. I'm looking at them now. 45, did we say, was all the way up here. So we'd want to target probably 40. I'd say let's go target the $43 calls. Plus these are super cheap. If they go in the money, these could easily go 30 cents to like probably 75 or 80, 90 cents. Um, if, if it goes up and tries this previous high, right? Because it'll be 48 cents past 30, 30, 43, which is 43 cents in the money. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, you know, decent amount of volume on these. Um, okay, guys, there's a lot of in the money volume. A lot of in the money volume. That usually is a pretty bullish signal. Usually like big, big, big hedge funds and, and like investors, if they're buying in the money, like they're super long. They think it's going to happen, especially if they're short dated. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes those are sold. Those contracts are sold to open, meaning they think it could reverse. But I mean, QR, I don't know, which is Kroger there's, I mean, it's probably gonna be hard to keep shit on their shelves, so they're gonna raise prices. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I, I would think we'd probably nice bounce here. Maybe there may, might be a bounce again, but I think it would probably head higher. That's just what the chart is looking like, right? I mean, just overall, right? Above the 200 day is always pretty bullish. Um, so yeah, I like that. So yeah, great, great eye, um, <clears throat> great eye there, Chad. Anyone else have something they want me to look at? While we're here, we're at about an hour, oh, about 40 minutes now. Um, so I like, obviously don't want to spend all the time. Uh, let's take ATVI. ATVI, very nice, very nice. So pop, pop, pop. That's what it looks like. Stair steps up. It bounced, you know, what was the low here? Uh, 77.04, even with this low, it didn't get down there. We've got a bunch of higher lows still, right? Bunch of higher lows still. So I do like that. We've got to get through. We've got to get up and through this level here, pretty much like 82, you would think. Okay. 82 but i do like this bottom level um oh shit i'm not even i'm sorry guys i'm supposed to be looking down here you guys are like this fucking drunk ass thirsty thursday drinking motherfucker i was like man this chart looks really random to me um okay sorry sorry guys <laughs> oh is it am i tired i don't know okay huge huge outside day candle here huge outside day candle and in a market that was actually down today, it had some relative strength. You always want to see that, right? So through 67.59, which if you look right here, aftermarket or um, yeah, after hours, we're, we got up there 67.60, right? So we're above this level right here, okay? We're above this level, which happens to be the high here. Okay, no problem. We like to see that. I would say next stop is getting above 68. 78 which is the high here and then we have the we enter the gap fill and we're heading back for 72 i mean what calls do we have again oh yeah we got it here so we've got the oh yeah that's oh, right we have two layers on it 
we've got the 75s and we've got the 71. So we can see still a lot of volume here on the 70s, not bad, like good volume today. And then not bad volume on the 70s again. But look at this open interest here, it's 85 for December, not bad. Look at the chart. We can have, I mean, it can have a, it can have a, it can have a two to three point day. So if we string together a few two to three point days, I mean, it'll, it's only going to take us, you know, a couple of days to get back up here, right? This is actually not even the full gap fill. The gap fill would be 7704. So this could be right here guys, but tomorrow is going to be this. Any calls I have for next week tomorrow is going to be the day of judgment, the day of reckoning, if you will. We talked about it in our uh, in the water cooler chat. Um, you know, if it doesn't if it doesn't warrant enough movement tomorrow, we're going to cut anything that is um, for next week. For next week, okay. Anything for next week, we'll cut. We'll leave all the December stuff though, because we'll start feeling the pain. Okay. Um, I put the yeah. Topher said I put the COF, which is uh, the Capital One, right? I believe in the VIP options. Yes, you did. Thank you. Um, thank you, Topher. Thank you, Topher. Okay, guys, that's ATVI. We can go and look at Snap, which is our swing. I know this is supposed to be for the lotto calls. We can see here still just waiting. You know, those calls are for December. Um, the 200 day is still there, still at basically about the $65 calls. I mean, we're just waiting, right? MACD, you know, MACD. Crossing over. We got our first green histogram, meaning they crossed. That's good. We might be a little early to the party. All right. We might be a little early, but it's not bad. Sometimes when you get early, then you get to drink all the alcohol for free, right? Instead of being fashionably late, a little early. Okay. Um, AJB said, should we look to cut the 1126 calls if they lag? Yes, yes. Um, you can, you can go into next week, like next week, Wednesday, um, to see, but those will probably start to get some effect or more effect, um, tomorrow and Monday. So that's personal preference up to you, AJB. That's going to be a, what was your trade plan? What's your risk tolerance? Right. Um, so yeah, but good question nonetheless. Yep. Um, Santa rally, you said, yes, I did say Santa rally, um, which I think possibly we get maybe a pop tomorrow. And then, um, you know, we've got OPEX next week and we know exactly what OPEX does. I mean, it's, it's pretty volatile, pretty volatile. So, you know, you'll see big up days, big down day swings. Um, if you don't know about OPEX, go and read about it. I'll drop an investopedia, um, article for you guys that I send to everybody. Um, cause sometimes you just need to read about it and not let me explain it. Um, but there's usually huge volatility and we play it very fucking well. Okay. So still, still great support here on snap. This is good. Okay. So we're just trading along sideways. Let's see if we can get above 56, right? So we want to get above. Um, well, yes, we got above yesterday's high today, which is good. Um, but we want to, we really want to really need to get around above this like 55, 64 ish level. That'd be really good. Okay, and then obviously we can get back up and start getting into the scat fill area. All right, cool. Um, all right, cool. All right, guys, um, that's all I got. Justin, I don't know if you had anything on your side you wanted to mention or, or chat about um, while you're here. If so, oh, no. speak now yeah. or forever hold your peace. I mean, the market is how the market is, but we had some good plays, so. Yeah. So, guys, yeah, I guess we'll want to make a note. Like, listen, we made one trade today that was – we took 10%. That's all the market gave us. That's all it showed us. If you would have tried to sit there and play calls and puts and calls and puts when it just chopped back and forth, back and forth, you would have got fucking slaughtered. Slaughtered. Okay? You would have got slaughtered. It cut the premiums for us pretty well on a lot of these options plays. Um, and also any down day on any of the comments went on sale. Okay. So you could have bought up then, but as far as like trading, listen, sometimes it fucking be like that. And you, there, there is nothing to trade, right? <laughs> there is nothing to trade. And we even said at the beginning of the day, like this could very well be another day. And someone asked, could tomorrow be the same thing? It could, 
It fucking could. Okay, it, it it could. So who knows? All I know is every single time you need to plan your trade, trade your plan, and always do fucking less. And don't be greedy. Take your profits. We've obviously seen here that people have been up 70, 80, 90, 100%, and then they're down 60% in fucking 10 minutes. So what does that mean? It's a smash and grab in, in environment still. Do not fucking rob the bank and see if the cops are going to show up to see if you're going to get away. That is stupid. You get in, you realize that profit, you get out. Okay, that is still, still, still the MO. All righty. Last question. Dr. Hype says, is it, I really like the snap December gap fill play. Could I get a good entry still? You will get a good entry off of whatever you plan for that trade. I will tell you this. I mean, it hasn't filled the gap yet. It's consolidating. So wherever you plan, if you want to go get it at 5166, Maybe. I mean, just plan your trade, trade your plan. But yes, there is still opportunity. Okay. A lot of upside potential here. All right. Coolio. Um, other than that, guys, I'm done yelling at you for the night. Get off your screens. Get away from, uh, you know, get away from the market for a sec. Get with your family. Eat some fucking bomb ass food. Go out for a walk. I don't know. But other than that, guys, I will see y'all bright and early in the pre-market. Peace.